to share with you some of my experience in skating downhills. Some tips for newbies that I hope will help you in skating. First of all, you don't have to do like I did in the first part of the video. If the downhill is rather steep like this and there is not enough space for maneuvering, it is much better to stop and find another way to skate to final destination. So, the first rule is plan where you will break. The second point is to decide how you will break, and it depends on the point one very much. For the narrow spaces and if there is some obstacle in front of you, a car for example, the best way for stopping is T-stop. You can break with all the wheels or just manage the speed with one wheel of the T-stopping leg. Here I am T-stopping with the one rear wheel and that's just because my front wheel is too warm now. Actually, it is easier to manage speed with the front wheel. The steeper the downhill is, the wider position you have to use to make the T-stop effective. That means that you have to put more weight on the braking skate, but you have to rise the pressure very careful and slow, and you have to always keep the position right. The angle between skates should always be less than 90 degrees. It will require some strength from you, because T-stop on high speed is pretty difficult to manage. The other useful braking technique is slalom turns. You can freely use it if you know how to work with edges well and if it is enough space around. You can feel that the speed doesn't decrease at first two or three turns, but in real you just have to get the proper angle. The sharper the angle of the turn is, the better is braking. To cut the speed almost completely you can even turn uphill, like that. Combination of T-stop and curved turn uphill will help you on the steep downhills. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like and so on.